The alchemy of happiness is a guide to transform the essence of man from his baseness to the purity of the angelic state. This transformation is through increasing knowledge of God. However, before you can begin to know God, first you must know yourself. Knowing yourself starts with an understanding of the human being's two distinct components, the body and the heart, or more specifically, the spiritual heart. There are five steps to understand the heart. First, you must recognize its existence. Next, know that the heart works to seek happiness through knowledge of God. It acquires this knowledge through knowledge of God's creation. Next, know that the body is a kingdom and within it the limbs and organs are its workers. Appetite is the tax collector. Anger is the policeman. Intellect is the chief minister. And the heart is king. The body is in a constant spiritual struggle between being held captive by anger and appetite and using them as a mount and weapon to attain spiritual fulfillment. If the heart acts at the advice of the intellect and keeps anger and appetite under control, the path to happiness will be made accessible. But if the intellect becomes the prisoner of anger and appetite, the kingdom will become desolate and the heart will be destroyed. Know that appetite and anger were created to nourish and protect the body and are its servants. The body was built to bear the senses and it is their servant. The senses were created for intelligence gathering and serve the intellect. The intellect was created as the lamp of the heart. Through its light the heart may see the divine presence. Thus the intellect is the servant of the heart. The heart was created to witness the beauty of the Divine Presence and is its servant. The heart has a number of qualities which can be grouped into four types. Predatory attributes that find happiness in rage, destruction and killing. Bestial attributes. These seek happiness in eating, sleeping and copulating. Demonic attributes. These thrive on evil, treachery and deceit and angelic attributes which seek happiness in the contemplation of the Divine Presence. To attain spiritual happiness, the angelic quality of intellect must master the predatory, bestial and demonic qualities. Now that you know the qualities of the heart, know that the heart's nobility is what elevates humans above the rank of beasts. Nobility from knowledge has two degrees. One is gathered by the heart through a door that opens toward the five external senses, such as learning the arts and sciences. The other is acquired directly by the heart through a door that opens to the heavens and divine inspiration. Know that the heart is like a well and knowledge is like water. The five senses are streams that fill the well. At the base of the well is dirt. Beneath the well is a pure spring. This dirt is like a veil that blocks the heart from accessing divine inspiration. To fill your heart with the pure water that lay beneath it, you must block the streams and empty the water. You must then remove the dirt at the base of the well, which is achieved by the struggle of disciplining the soul. Only then will the fountain of never-ending knowledge burst through and fill your heart. In truth, people in this world are deficient and weak. The heart is constantly struggling to subjugate the body's base qualities to the intellect. This is done through the knowledge of God and its key, the knowledge of oneself, the heart, and its nobility. That elevates man from the rank of beasts to that of angels. That is the start of the alchemy of happiness.